Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is evening prayer for Saturday, May the 28th. It's the fifth week of Easter. The scripture for this service, Psalm 27 and Luke chapter 9, verse 1 through 17. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia. Psalm 27. You are my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? You are the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I would trust. There is one thing I ask of you, for this I long, to live in your house all the days of my life to savor your sweetness, and to behold your temple. For you make me safe in your tent in the day of evil. You hide me in the shelter of your tent. On a rock I am secure. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within your tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for you. O oh, beloved God, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek God's face. It is your face, O Most High, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me. O God, my help, though father and mother forsake me, you will receive me. Instruct me in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemies' greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see your goodness in the land of the living. In you I hold firm and take heart. I hope in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you are my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. And then Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all the demons to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. And he said to them, Take nothing for your journey, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And when it, wherever they do not welcome you, you are leaving that town, as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the villages, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. Now Herod, the ruler, heard about all that had taken place, and he was perplexed, because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Elijah had appeared, and by others that one of the ancient prophets had arisen. And Herod said, John, I beheaded. But who is this about whom I hear such things? And he tried to see him. On their return, the apostles told Jesus all they had done. And he took them with him and withdrew privately to a city called Bethsaida. And when the crowds found out about it, they followed him and he welcomed them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who needed to be cured. The day was drawing to a close, and the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away, so that they may go into the surrounding villages and countryside to lodge and get provisions, for we are here in a deserted place. But Jesus said to them, You give them something to eat. They said, We have no more than five loaves and two fishes, unless we are to go and buy food for all these people. 
for there were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down in groups of about fifty. They did so, and made them all sit down. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, Jesus looked up to heaven, blessed and broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. And all ate and were filled up. And, when, and what was left over was gathered up, twelve baskets of broken pieces. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing for joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of all, whose Son commanded us to love our enemies, lead them and us from prejudice to truth. Deliver them and us from hatred, cruelty, and revenge. And in your good time, enable us all to stand reconciled before you, through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.